It's time for business news with Richard Southern. Yesterday, we talked about the price freeze at Loblaws coming to an end. Today, it appears the grocery chain is trolling some unhappy customers, Richard. Maybe that's what it is. I'll show you the tweets and you can decide, Erica. But certainly, uh, Loblaws is fighting back against a lot of criticism out there that perhaps it's um, hiking prices beyond where they should be hiked. As you say, the price freeze for 1,500 no-name products has come to an end. Uh, Loblaws, though, taking a sort of a different stance, pushing back against all the you know, negative news about these price hikes. I'm going to show you some tweets from the Loblaws corporate account. The first run reads, quote, we get it. It's easy to blame grocers for high grocery prices, but on a $100 grocery bill, our profit is less than $4. Okay. Keep in mind, these guys posted some very strong earnings. Another tweet reads, quote, we froze prices to help consumers at a time they needed it most. Food inflation continues, and we're seeing a lot of the big cost increases from vendors, but hundreds of no-name products will not go up. And a third tweet reads, quote, uh, we would say our prices are competitive when compared to other major grocers. We try to offer a wide range of products and locations to meet a variety of needs. We also encourage you to shop where you feel most comfortable, mm. Erica. Thoughts on that? Uh, it's interesting. I mean, they're actually taking, making an ac active effort to try and get their point of view across and not stay silent. I don't know how it's going to go down. We'll see. The stock was down a little bit today on Bay Street, Erica. Right. Let's stick with the grocery store theme. The cost of many of our favorite snacks is about to go up. Uh-oh. Certainly one of my favorites, potato chips, uh, Erica, unfortunately going to go up in price. Frito-Lay, which makes Lay's which potato really? chips and Miss Vicky's That's and so Doritos and all those good things. They are increasing the price that they charge grocery stores. They're going up between 10 and 11 percent reportedly. So many of these grocers, like Loblaws was saying, they have to pass it on to consumers. So your potato chip prices could be about to go up. But there is an item at the grocery store that has kind of defied inflation, and it's probably what we should be eating instead of potato chips. It's bananas, Erica. The price is held really pretty steady at about $1.68 per kilogram. In fact, we're paying less for bananas now than we did through like the 2010s. A glut of bananas is the reason global production has surged almost 70% over the past 20 years. So enjoy have, your bananas, Erica. I have them every day, <laughs> finally. Uh, imagine having every item at Costco already in your cupboard or closet. That will basically be the case for residents who end up living in one proposed building. Do you want to live in a Costco? Do you love it that much, Erica? I don't go to Costco, so. Yeah, see, we live downtown. I'm the same way. I do like the $1.50 hot dogs. It would be dangerous for me to live in a Costco, but you can now. This is a new development in Los Angeles, an 800-unit rental apartment constructed on top of a Costco, an unusual format for the retailer, which usually has its, has its locations in big warehouse-like structures. Uh, it's not clear if Costco intends to build more of these rental unit locations around the country or here in Canada. That's one way, Erica, to get your um, a big uh, box of toilet paper, or whatever industrial-sized item you're buying at Costco, home easier when you live just above the store. Okay, thanks, Richard.